Hey guys, and how are you all doing? It is Jeff Master Flash, and welcome to Abu Dhabi. This is the season ender, and let's hope this is a decent race. This is the delight in the desert. Today, let's stick it to Hamilton after such uh, a poor show in Brazil. So, this has pretty much been the end of the season story, how can never string a decent lap time together until the absolute death of uh, qualifying it is crazy don't know what is going on lately but as soon as it really needs to be done um, a decent lap is found and I don't know why I don't know how I can't put a decent lap together um, straight off the bat I don't know what's wrong um, but yeah as you can see um, I'm up on my uh, last qualifying time. It's a 134.115, um, and I don't know why I couldn't uh, put a decent lap together um, in qualifying two. Hamilton had done a 132.9, so, so I don't know where I went wrong or I was going wrong. Um, but yeah, I managed to qualify on uh, pole. But yeah, I don't know. I don't understand how in Q2 Hamilton can do a 132.9 and I do a 134.1 and still managed to get pole. Don't know what happened there, but it happened, um, which is bizarre. Love Abu Dhabi, um, not just because it's the season end, uh, just because of the circuit uh, turns 15, 16 and I believe 17 into the hotel complex. Just crazy. If you get that wrong, lock up and ruin the tyres, which isn't, uh, isn't great, but still an awesome awesome circuit I really love it um, you've got to be on it and I think that's my problem I'm not getting on it quick enough um, but let's just see if we can rectify that in season three so obviously straight after Abu Dhabi is back to Australia for season three and then that should take us right up to um, F1 2020 which will be nice which I'm going to pre-order um, sometime this week as you can see, um, McLaren uh, is our third rival now with Renault, then Haas, believe it or not, and F1, uh, F, uh, F1 people get uh, Ferrari um, are way down in fifth. Hardly done any R&D this season, which is so strange. So, so strange indeed. But just getting ready for the formation lap and hopefully I get a decent start um, something needs to be done like I said regarding qualifying and my starts because yeah it's crazy absolutely crazy I don't know what's wrong um, don't know whether it's just I'm that poor or the AI around me are just that good um, it's just weird it's just really really weird hope though that um, that Hanoi and Zandvoort in F1 2020 live up to um, expectations as I am seriously looking forward to them um, done a few laps of Zand in the old Zandvoort circuit in a set of Corsa um, but really looking forward to seeing what uh, the F1 the 2020 season cars can do definitely definitely looking forward to that um, but yeah really really can't wait now uh, hope also um, that they have the ability to practice uh, qualifying starts and um, pit stops that would be that would be awesome fun that would be really good fun but we shall have to wait and see don't think much has been said uh, about about those but we will see um, it's so difficult to get this part right as you said absolutely fly into this complex into this part 
and then hope that you don't just hope that you don't lock up right here um, just slow it right down and then turn in it's just awesome in the dark that this place is such a brilliant spectacle to come and see and I suppose it's a fitting end for the start of, of the fitting end of the season really um, to then restart a few months later in Australia um, with everything that's going on in the world I cannot wait to get the F1 season underway. Looks like uh, it'll be Austria um, before we actually see any wheels on uh, on track, which will be nice. Which will be really, really nice, in fact. Um, just waiting for the everybody to line up and it will be lights out almost. Here we go. Three, four, five and we are out we are racing so i thought he had a decent start but look at this look at hamilton he just takes off locked up a little bit there on wide a little bit because i was being forced out by vettel but hamilton and again i'll go back to i think that it's a combination of poor starts and um hamilton is just that good it has to be the AI, sorry. It's just that good. He's gone, That's literally so taken off. It's crazy, crazy. But this is 14 laps in the desert. Let's hope it is as delightful as the title says it is. And we shall see, guys. Really hope you stick around and watch this till the end. Really hope you're all well. And really hope your families are safe. And I shall catch you in the next one. Have a fantastic day, guys. Peace. Sat in P2, Lewis ahead, the gap is less than a second, they're on fresh softs. Vettel behind, the gap behind us is 1.5 seconds, they're on fresh softs. You have 4 laps till your pit window opens, 13 laps to go.
Lewis behind. Less than a second separate you. They're on old softs. Their tires are three laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 139.5. Schedule pit stops.
less than a second, they're on fresh mediums. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. Seven laps to go. behind the gap to the car behind is 1.4 seconds they're on fresh mediums their tires are one lap old the time last lap was a one minute 56.3 position front of the pack Lewis is behind you our gap behind is 1.8 seconds they're on fresh mediums look after these tires now we want to finish the race on this compound five laps till the end
turbocharger is on its last legs. Let's try to keep mileage on it to a minimum. so don't worry about them.
yet another historic win under their belts. Well done to the team at Mercedes. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, I know it's a bit of a boring answer, but the truth is they simply had the best speed package on the day, and a driver who knows how to take advantage of that. It doesn't matter how much time you spend poring over the stats and planning strategies if you can't keep the pace, and our winner today showed they could do both. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? My driver of the day was Devon Butler. He did an amazing job pushing through the field, cementing his growing reputation for ruthlessly running down those top positions. The Constructors' Championship may be a foregone conclusion at the moment, but regardless, let's look at the standings. It's another clear win for Mercedes as they managed to secure the Constructors' title. An incredible performance for the whole team. It was also a strong Grand Prix from Haas F1 this weekend. Fantastic work from the American team to move themselves further up the table. Well, Ants, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.